and I'm Sayed Khan, working with the software developer at Nautica Group. Today I would like to talk to you about software engineering, software development process, so that you have to know about how the software is developed, what's the story is going behind the software development. You know, every, every day you see software, mobile, you're taking in your hand. It's mobile application, web application when you are using web, websites, internet. In this top application when you are working at your offices, you're using different software. So that you have to know how these software are doing well. I should only take your uh, precious time only for five to ten minutes because you know a lot of time is being wasted and I haven't I have catch a bus from my home. <laughs> okay, so I have divided my presentation in few. No, it's just a software process. Good process lead to good software. Good processes reduce risks. Good processes enhance visibility. You know the good process importance. Third variety of software is required. I have told you about mobile application a little bit. But one thing is common there, you know. Whether it's mobile application, web application, or whether it's just application. The whole th process, the major, the process, what, how they work, how they are developed, it's common. So, here's, I will brief some of these different sections. Here, the first one is feasibility and planning, the second one requirements, design, implementation, and then acceptance and release, operation and maintenance. These are different sections that we divide the process of development of a software, of a good software. I will brief over that. Okay, visibility and planning. I you are told one thing. I was told there is you should, you should not interrupt. You know, I will give uh, you know a lot of time again for question. Okay, visibility and planning. A feasibility study precedes the decision to begin a project. You know, what's visibility? Any part you are going, whether it is a software project or whether you are it's a construction project, whether what type of project it is. One thing you have to know, you have to know, you have to think about the feasibility. Whether we have to do that, whether we have the talent to do that or not. So the feasibility and planning think that thing. Whether we have to go or no go. Okay. Requirement analysis, analysis and definition. When you think, when you plan that we can do that, then you have to analyze the requirements of this project. What are the requirements? What are the requirements and how to define these different requirements, different entities in the software, in the requirements, in the, in the projects involved. So this is about the project. The phase can be divided into requirement analysis, requirements definition. By definition, we mean simply, if you are working in an office that's using file and something else, then what is this? How you will use it? Using how you tell the computer, what is this entity? How do you present it in computer? How is the software and the system will know about that? So this is a definition about that. Okay. Or this is mostly about the user point of view. The how user look to the system. You know how how the user define the file. How they work. So we define according to our own point of view, the developer point of view. Okay. System and programming design. When you decide, you plan, you analyze this project. Do you think how whether this how how we will develop the software programs, whether it requires system hardware type things. For example, the mobiling guy have told something about that. You know, they have huge data. So if we compare their system, then we have some fast systems having a big database and a huge processing array and something to process their system. That's why system design partition the requirements to hardware or software system, establishing an R system architecture, you know. Software design, what the software de design is. Actually the function, the action you take place that takes place in any in a, in a office, in an organization, these are actually different programs we made that are executable. So we had then we combine all these programs, all, all these actioning which we define in our programming languages to combine them, integrate it, and then we would execute it. Actually, at the end, I am telling you, unified modeling language, what is this, UML. UML actually is a good developer point of view. How a developer looks to the system, how he defines and how he programs it, okay. At the end, one, the implementation goal, which is very important, and every time when you implement, you get a lot of bugs from this user and from the system programming. The software design is realized in a set of programs, and programs units 
and I record different actions, small actions combined. These small actions are programs unit actually. Then we integrate it, then we test it, the testing, then can, then the programming, testing, the important, important part. Quality assurance mostly, they you know about different, different organizations here, quality, quality assurance section. So individual components are tested against specifications, the individual program units are integrated and tested against the design is a complete system. How do you think, how the client think, how the user have told you, how the data you collect, how then you integrate it, function and actioning. You test your small unit for then integrate it, then test their performance when they come together. So a lot of things go here. At the end, the important thing is whether you have prepared for that or not, whether the client accepted that or not. Exception is the part of the, you know, the complete system is tested against the requirements by the client. When the project the software goes to the client, he tests it whether it's accepted or not, whether he got this software is according to his requirements or not. When it is accepted, delivery it release. You know, when the first one is in prototype, is released, he's testing bugs can he said release the second one. He has seen a lot of you know, software, first person came one by one, one by two, let's like window cam. We know what on this, but what is this? Actually, this is a version bug scan, they hung the scan cam, and new versions are released here. The complete system is delivered to the client and released into the production. This brings me to my end of my presentation that I will just run over my key points again. Feasibility important for the first time when you think whether I have to go or not for that process after it. The second thing analysis and requirements. What is the requirements and what is the analysis? You think then you design it, the software coding design, whether I'm, I'm thinking about software point of view, but the Mr. Messenger, he will think about his own construction point of view, how he will develop the building, how he will do that, other guys will do their own, and at the end, implementation, accessory, the design, testing, etc. Thank you for attention, I would like to answer your question if you have any. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I just got a question. Yeah. Were you rushing because you had to go? No, actually, the Romero was giving me, you know, hurry up, hurry up, you know, so you know. Oh, <laughs> because your tone of voice, your body language.